This is the nation of Minitopia. It's a small nation composed of hard-working, honest folk. This nation is so small, in fact, that it only has three private industries. The workers of Minitopia are split evenly between the corn farming industry, the steel production industry, and the textile industry. There are three congressional districts in Minitopia. One in the north, populated mostly by steel producers, one in the west, populated mostly by farmers, and one in the east, populated by textile workers. Meet Jack. Jack is a hard-working and honest Minitopian farmer who enjoys his country's low taxes and unobtrusive government. Meet Jill. Jill is the elected representative for the Western Congressional District that Jack lives in. She works hard to earn her re-election. One day, the Congresswoman Jill shows up at Jack's door to thank him and all the other farmers for all their hard work by giving them a 20% subsidy for all the corn they grow as a show of how much Minitopia appreciates their farmers. Jack is very happy that his country appreciates him. He doesn't even notice the increase in his taxes, which grew less than half as much as the increase of his income due to this new subsidy. Jill is very happy to have pleased her constituents and feels safe that her re-election is secured since all the farmers in her district have her to thank for this increase in their income. Meet Jessie. Jessie is a hard-working and honest steelworker who enjoys her country's freedoms and until recently low level of taxes. Unfortunately, the recent tax increase to pay for farming subsidies has made her life substantially more difficult than it was previously. Meet James. James is the elected representative for the Northern Congressional District that Jesse lives in. He works hard for his re-election and he knows exactly how to solve Jesse's new problem. Congressman James shows up at Jesse's steel factory and tells her and all her fellow workers that he's subsidizing their wages so they all get paid 20% more. Jesse's co-workers all celebrate this news, and Congressman James feels confident that he, too, has secured his re-election. Meet Jane. Jane is a hard-working and honest textile worker, and she dislikes her high taxes that are making it difficult for her business to survive, and so she goes to pay her congressman a visit about it. Meet John. John is an elected representative for the Eastern Congressional District that Jane lives in. He works hard to earn his re-election, so he's on top of the ball and assures Jane and her compatriots who have come to protest at his office that he has already gotten the Congress to agree to a new 20% subsidy for the textile industry. Jane is thankful that much of her problems are relieved for the increase in wages she receives, even though the accumulation of all the taxes she is now required to pay is higher than the increase in her wage. Meet Linus. Linus is one of the new, tired, hard-working, and honest government workers who is making sure that Jack, Jesse, Jane, and all their fellows get paid their benefits and pay their taxes. It doesn't matter which congressional district Linus lives in, as he would vote in favor of any of the elected representatives, as he owes them all for the creation of his job and that of his peers employed in the rapidly growing bureaucracy. Linus doesn't so much like the high level of taxes his country has, but he doesn't complain because it is due to those taxes that he is a job in the first place. Meet Lucy. Lucy is an honest but unemployed libertarian politician, and she wants to tear her hair out due to this situation. It doesn't matter which congressional district Lucy lives in because all the voters are too dependent on government subsidies to ever consider electing anyone who wants to cut government spending. Lucy argues that nationwide wealth is lower now due to the smaller number of workers in the productive industries of farming, steel production, and textile manufacturing, and the larger number now working for the government just shifting money back and forth from one group to another. She points out in vain that each of the nation's three industries are worse off now than they were originally because even if they are all paying equal amounts of taxes and getting equal amounts of subsidies, they will also always have to be paying more than they receive since a chunk of those taxes has to pay for the expanded government bureaucracy. But everyone realizes that if they elect Lucy, the only government programs that will be dismantled are the ones that benefit themselves. As it stands today, in the Minotopian Congress, Representatives Jill and James sometimes work together as a majority of the Congress to subsidize the farm and textile industries that their constituents work within. At other times, James and John work together, or John and Jill cooperate, each time always expanding the benefits for their own two districts at the expense of the third. If any district replaces their own representative with Lucy the Libertarian, they know that Lucy might be able to convince the other two not to vote for the subsidies going to her own district, but since they outnumber her, her vote against the subsidies in the other two districts will always go for naught. That would leave Lucy's district to pay high taxes without any government benefits. 
No single district can prevent the other two from looting it through the national government, so they are each forced to do their best at looting the other two districts and industries. Jack, Jesse, Jane, and all the other voters all make their only rational choice for increased subsidies for their own districts. The congressional representatives, Jill, James, and John, all make sure to cooperate with one another to give their own constituents as many subsidies as possible so they don't end up unemployed like that loony libertarian Lucy. Everyone ends up worse off than they began. Fortunately for us, we don't live in Minotopia, and here in the real world, we would never allow such an absurd and counterproductive system to continue to exist. Right? <laughs>